Hi everyone, um, I'm getting many questions, um, lots of questions regarding training, diet, uh, my uh, um, my uh, competition, so this is the question I'm going to be talking about, how did they prepare for my uh, Miami Pro competition where I placed first under 75 kilos um, in a category fitness model. So. Um, I, will, I have a checklist of what I would like to talk about. So, uh, because I was doing a first time, I didn't know what to expect. So, so this is what I experienced uh, during that, uh, I think, 10 months of uh, focus preparation for that one day of, uh, uh, of competition. So, for that competition. So, <clears throat> I was before that I was eating like kind of healthy brown rice, uh, chicken, time to time other other foods, but like a complex cup. So I was eating healthy. I wanted to put on a lean mass, but it didn't go very well. Um, I didn't see much gain. I mean, a mu lean muscle gain. So I've decided to do. Um, also, I was spoken to one bodybuilder, and he said uh, because I'm kind of. Uh, Ectomorph, mesomorph, something between. So I'm not, I'm not putting easy on a muscle. So he said, why don't you do like a like a bulking? So I start eating. I start, I start bulking. So I was eating like a pasta, white rice, this kind of things, and uh, my calories was about um, five thousand over five thousand. So every day I was eating that. Sometimes I was just because I wanted to eat consume all these calories every single day so sometimes I just uh, I know it's kind of crazy <laughs> so sometimes I just wake up uh, like um, um, I go to bed like 12 o'clock and set up alarm at 3 o'clock so I can finish my meal like uh, brown rice and things like this so I put on um, quite a lot of muscle but al also fat um, so before I start um, Cutting, I weighed about, I think, 86 kilos, something like that, and uh, I start prepping um, for my competition 14 weeks out. I mean, by prepping, I mean start start decreasing calories, adding uh, slowly cardio. So this is uh, what I, how I was preparing, starting preparing for that uh, competition. So. Um, so every every week I drop ten percent of calories from my previous week. So if my before that I was eating five thousand calories, um, majority of it was um, uh, carbohydrates, and um, so I decreased ten percent. So f uh, five thousand minus uh, five hundred that was four thousand four and a half thousand. So. And next week I decrease uh, ten percent again, and I was doing that every single week. So from five thousand, I dropped to during that period for to about seventeen hundreds. And uh, about that time, uh, my mind was getting crazy, and um, <clears throat> I didn't feel very happy. I was. Um, my, I had a, like mood swings, so like one moment I was really happy, and another I could, you know, be shouting for no reason on someone at work or you know uh, housemates who <clears throat> were, um, were complaining as well. Uh, so, so I read about internet, you know, because of this low fat and things like this. So you got uh, problems with you know hormone levels. And so this is how it does affect your your mood, you know. So I try to be, you know, control of it. And um, so the other thing I was doing, uh, my for my 14 weeks, uh, you know, cutting phase. So I was uh, I try to run in the morning. Uh, for some people don't like it, but it, I I think I lost some fat because of it. So basically, I just run. Uh, I wake up in the morning and. Um, and uh, take some caffeine for energy boost and uh, amino acid BCAAs and uh, I just run for maybe 20 minutes or so at the beginning it was hard because I didn't run for a long time like I, I didn't do any kind of cardio so I was doing that for quite a quite a few weeks and uh, I realized that cardio helped me tremendously actually in a gym so I could recover faster so I could hit, uh, you know, I could do um, better, as you say, you know, 
uh, time under tension. So I was uh, hitting harder in the gym. So cardio helped me, uh, you know, to gain more muscle. So that was a good thing. And uh, I still continue doing cardio. Uh, time to time, you know, not 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 going too crazy. Maybe 20, 15 minutes, you know. Sometimes rowing, cycling, things like this. And uh, after that, I thought I'm uh, I'm you know getting too tired, so I stopped doing um, you know uh, running in the morning on empty stomach. I start doing cardio like 15, 20 minutes. Um, normally cycling uh, after um, after my weightlifting. So I was doing like uh, hit high intensity interval training or just a you know slow cardio um, after weightlifting. Um, so mental focus, I had I think tremendous mental focus. I was watching videos uh, on a phone, you know, going to the gym, um, and uh, you know sometimes actually all the time. Uh, during my cardio so uh, motivational videos on my phone so that helped me a lot and I still continue watching because uh, I think um, to have that mental uh, in your mind that you can do it and um, like give you a little boost so that helped me a lot um, as I said I reduced uh, calories to 1700 and um, when I reduced it, my I I, I I was getting like uh, mood swings. Uh, my my fat burning kind of stopped. I got like a plateau. So I I spoken to a few guys, you know, some like <clears throat> really uh, really good ones like James Alexander Ellis. He's now fifth in the world, and uh, so I spoken to, to him over Facebook. So he advised me to start, uh, you know, eating some healthy fats like um, fish oils and um, things like this and increase my calories. So I've done that and uh, that helped me and I started burning calorie fat again. So, uh, so basically I was too low and my and, and, uh, and the calories in my body kept on, on keeping this fat. So, so yeah, and... Um, So basically, uh, when I was training, it, it, it wasn't easy actually because you know, uh, you go, you pushing your body where your body doesn't want to go. So you have to keep pushing yourself, you know. And uh, people saw me, you know, but I was pushing myself so hard. And uh, even I think six weeks out, they you know said I have a great abs. I I have in a good I'm in a good condition. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I wasn't big, and even now I'm not very big. But uh, just because you know, I was, uh, I got uh, like really cut. I looked, uh, you know, like bigger. So, and uh, I really liked it. What I, what, I, what I saw in the mirror, you know. So, um, on the hard days, you know, I just you know keep flexing or you know checking my pump in the mirror, and that helped me to push myself, you know. A little further than I, I wouldn't see myself, so that's kind of I don't know. That's helped me, anyways. Um, it was hard uh, because I didn't have uh, much support for my family, so we we couldn't understand why I'm doing it. You know why I'm you know shouting or swearing sometimes. You know why we can can't understand. So I had a you know family issues. I'm running out of space here, so you're gonna see this video into pieces, not in one piece. Um, so uh, after some time, uh, my family, you know, kind of start understanding, and uh, we agree with what I do, and they kind of accept it. Uh, after I place first, and they realize, you know, this is not what something I, I want now, and they're gonna, you know, leave it after. So we saw this is my real passion, and uh, now we are really happy. And uh, for example, my mom start running, start asking, you know, for advices, what to eat, and and uh, so it's really nice, you know. And um, yeah, so uh, closer to the competition, I start, you know, prepping like appropriately. I start going to the sunbed, you know, to to put on on that tan. So. Because uh, you know the lights are so bright, you need to look you know uh, darker. So 
you can get that cut, you know, you're not uh, disappearing, basically. So I was going to the sun, you know, taking care of my skin, you know, um, uh, you know, taking that shower gel, you know, really good ones uh, with uh, low chemicals and things like that, and uh, you know, brushing my 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 skin as well. So to get that skin and putting baby oil to to soften even that skin. So when we got sprayed, um, I'm gonna you know absorb better. So. I think, uh, yeah, I was sprayed uh, once day before and twice in the, in, in the morning before before the competition. So, I was supposed uh, practicing my posing uh, quite a lot, quite a bit, but um, on a video I saw how I posed in the competition, I didn't kind of really liked it. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I, I, I I uh, I look like kind of like a you know gay, so I have to definitely work on my posing for the future competitions. So I have to improve that. Um, so I cut down from um, five thousand to seventeen hundred, and uh, uh, I'm gonna post pictures uh, of a uh, no this guy. So I'm gonna post pictures here, so you're gonna see how I look like. You know, um, uh, on my uh, closer to the competition. Um, so yeah, this is what I was doing, and coming closer to the competition, like uh, this um, uh, last two weeks, uh, it's called peak week, right? So uh, I was about two weeks out. I was about two thousand two hundred fifty calories. Uh, 225 grams of carbohydrates, about 4 liters of water, 200 grams of protein, 60 grams of fat, and I was taking prayer workout, I was fixing myself, uh, prayer workout, I was doing 5 day split with cardio or, or head after, um, so yeah, this is what I was doing, I have a big, that peak, uh, peak week um, uh, list, so I have every single detail here, this is what I'm looking at now. So for the uh, uh, peak week, uh, seven days out, I started to uh, reduce calories from uh, 225 to 120, and on the day four it was uh, 70 grams. So slowly I reduced it. The reason why is I want to deplete my glycogen levels. So uh, once I start gonna start carving up, actually three days out, I gonna deplete carbs. So uh, so my muscles gonna you know swallow and look bigger if you do properly you can you know store glycogen levels two or three times more than you normally do and um, I start eating uh, start drinking uh, eight liters at least a day seven days out for the four days uh, no five days actually and uh, the reason why so I start going to the toilet more often and I flush water out so when I stop drinking water um, I still continue going to the toilet and I lose that um, water under my skin so I, I, I get better cut, I look better. Um, protein I keep pretty much the same and uh, when I start coming up, start eating more carbs, I reduce a little bit to, 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 to keep to the minimum calories so I don't put on fat again. So with my um, with my protein, when I start doing that uh, peak week, I start taking digestion enzymes, so it helped me to. Um, so I, I gonna get digest easier, and I uh, start doing um, uh, that body circuit workout, upper body only. So about uh, 40 minutes, were very hard, intense. No legs train because if you train legs, you lose a cut. So I didn't do that. And I didn't do also cardio, so I was doing chest, back, delts, bicep, triceps, abs, circuit for five, four times, and um, right. And uh, I was taking extra salt as well. Uh, I know sprinkling everywhere on my food, so salt stores water. So uh, once I, uh, I I reduce salt and switch from a salty natural food to like a, you know. With very little salt, 
um, so I can get rid of that, uh, you know, what and get uh, that extra cut. So, um, so yeah, I was doing that as well and stop sold four days prior to my con competition. And um, so, starting from day day out, three days out, I start increasing. In, in, increase my uh, my carbohydrates and slowly decreased from 400 to 300 in three days. I slowly decreased the water and uh, stopped taking water in the day before at five o'clock. Uh, protein I kept pretty much the same, 150 grams uh, and decreased a little bit. And um, uh, I was taking BCAA, some uh, white, extra vitamin C, like eight grams of vitamin C, because it helped to get rid of water. And um, I've done uh, three days out upper body walker to kickstart that glycogen loading uh, phase, and uh, I've done uh, another uh, very small upper body circuit for the day before on Saturday, and um, on a Sunday. I was drinking very minimal water and uh, I was uh, uh, coming up with the dates, dark chocolate, almond peanut butter, organic raw honey, um, a little bit of turkey when I'm hungry, a few almonds and uh, vitamin C, 8 grams of vitamin C in the morning. I know it's not healthy but so this is what you have to do if you want to if you want to do well. And so yeah, so basically wrap it up this. Um, I'm happy where I am. I'm happy what I do now. And um, uh, it was hard journey, but it's definitely worth it. And I had a great experience doing it. I find I found out so much more about myself, about um, how much far I can push myself. And uh, I'm doing another show in f 15 weeks. Uh, from now, so I'll start prepping again, and um, some more videos coming soon. Um, please like if you really liked it, subscribe because coming some more videos, and uh, post questions below, and uh, I will answer them uh, soon. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. See you next time.